So let's see if we can set up in this video uh, Juniper Olive. Once you download Juniper Olive, just Google it. And once you download it, it will come to a prompt with login. Type in root, press enter. It will give you this prompt, another root prompt. And you type in CLI, it will give you a, a different CLI prompt. <clears throat> From here, you just type config exit but in this video i'll show you the basic configuration for olive when it comes up uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to set up its password before it lets you configure so in this setup i'm going to have an interface for olive that is going to be on an internal network and it's going to talk to a vios on the same internal network so let's set up with, and we're going to try to do the OSPF configuration on all of to see how the OS, OSPF configuration looks like. Let's uh, start with uh, configure command, and then once you type that configure command, you're going to have to do set system root authentication plain text password, and then type in Juniper. Uh, or whatever you would like to uh, choose, but it, it's got some restrictions, so I just use it, uh, use Juniper for simplicity. Syntax error. Let's see what you don't type Juniper, you just press enter here and it's going to say password, and then you type Juniper. Juniper. And that's it. But now that you have set the password, uh, it'll let you configure. Uh, let's say we do set system host name Juno's one. And then you type commit. And there it is. All right. Let's root at Juno's. Now we're going to do a configuration of the first interface. And it has emulated interfaces. So show interfaces. You'll see brief. You'll see that it's got emulated interfaces like EM0. So let's take a look at how we can look at all the interfaces. Show interface brief. And then we just do a match. Juniper, Junos really depends on the piping and how you match it. It's not as simple as uh, the Cisco CLI. So EM will give you all the EM interfaces that are available by default in, uh, in the Olive virtual machine, zero all the way to five. So six emulated interface. We'll configure zero because we've uh, put this interface in the internal network that matches up with the VOS internal network. And we'll see if we can ping. So we go to configure, set interface, EM, and then we type. We have to, it will not give you uh, an option. So here, you're going to have to actually say EM0. And then you're going to have to do unit 0 family inet address. Let's just say 10, 0, 0, 1, slash 24, commit. This is how you configure an interface IPv4 address on Junos. Do the same on Vios, set interface E00 address 10, 0, 0, 2, slash 24. Let's see if I can ping my Junos. And I cannot. Let's see if Junos can ping itself. It can. Well, let's check the interfaces. Connected network setting. This guy is on network one. Network setting. And this guy is on network two. That's why.
So we ch go change that to network one. And now we should be in business. There you go. So we have successfully configured Junos and Vios to ping each other. Now let's go do some OSPF configuration. Configure set. Let's put advertise in our loopbacks uh, so that we can see OSPF routing route exchange. To do that, let's go configure the loopback first. Set interface loopback zero unit zero family inet address. Let's just say it's one hundred slash thirty two commit. Let's set the loopback here. Set interface loop back loop back zero address two hundred slash thirty two commit. Now let's go configure the route routing uh, for OSPF. Okay, so to do that, we go set protocol OSPF area zero interface EM zero commit set protocol OSPF area zero network 10 commit Show IP OSPF neighbor, OSPF neighbor, and it's on its way. Let's see what is the command for Juniper. Show protocol, show OSPF neighbor. That was simple. Two way, two way, give OSPF a little time before, if you want it to be quick, you set it to point to point. It's moving forward. And that's the challenge that you can have uh, as a network engineer. If you're moving between uh, Junos, Arista, Vios, Cisco, CLI, and uh, other routing or networking devices. There you go. It's in full state now. You have to remember which command goes where. Full state. So now, Let's see what the command is. Show route. I'm getting a, this one is a direct. Show IP route. I've got connected routes. Now we're gonna advertise set protocol OSPF area zero network. Now it's 200 that we wanna advertise. Commit. And let's see if I got 200 here. I got it. Old routing table, the new one gets 200 right away. Ping 200. And I can. Let's advertise it. Advertise our loopback. Set protocol OSPF area zero interface. Loopback zero. Commit. Let's see. Show it here up. And I did get it. All right. So this is your basic OSPF configuration, IP interface in, uh, configuration on, on Olive. This is, you know, I would um, put up some more video on how to configure BGP and all that. But, um, Redistribution filtering is something that is uh, a next step up. Uh, configuring redistribution is, is uh, quite different in uh, Juniper Autos. And uh, my next video would be how do we learn OSPF routes and redistribute it in BGP and uh, successfully and then see how we can filter those. Hope this one helps.